Our next presenter from Scholarly IQ, Mark Kassar. Hello, and thank you for coming. I want to give you a quick overview of some recent work we've done um, using counter stats um, beyond the, the standard counter reporting. Um, so first, Scholarly IQ, who are we? Uh, we've been a trusted name in publishing reporting since 2002, and we play an active role on various working and advisory committees in the industry, uh, particularly where standards are concerned. The use case I want to address is essentially this. Let's say you have a, about 1,000 subscribing accounts, you get to renewal season, you realize that many of those have been showing uh, a significant decrease in usage throughout the year. So we want to uh, avoid such a scenario, so we created what we call a account health monitor to try and identify those potentially at-risk accounts early enough in the process so you have some lead time to take some appropriate action. So what does it look like? So essentially here, if you're looking at the graph on the right, each dot is an account that you have. We're plotting the current month's usage on the horizontal axis. And on the vertical, we're comparing that with each institution's average usage over the preceding year. Then we color code that, so you have the green at the top, they're showing significant increases in usage. The red at the bottom are potentially the at risk, they're showing decreases in usage. You go way over to the left there, you can uh, segment this by your entire portfolio, journals or books. The metric, which we're calling usage, you can choose that. It could be abstract views or full text downloads, whatever makes sense to you. And you can choose the time frame over which you're looking at that. And then you can also set the threshold for what you would consider a potentially at-risk account. So you can adjust those based on what you know about your business. Um, you can hover over the points. So it'll give you the name and the data for that specific account. So you know which uh, account you're looking at. A lot of times your data will cluster, so you want to be able to zoom in so you can um, highlight particular accounts instead of them all being jammed together and you still get the same information. Um, once you identify potential accounts that you may be interested in doing something about, you want to see um, the usage per month over the preceding year. So here this gives you a way into, you may see some low usage accounts that have suddenly drop to zero, but they may not be as much of a concern as, for example, the one uh, noted in blue here, which is showing a significant decline. And the system is designed so if you can see that you will, you, uh, it'll pick that account up in April, much earlier on, as soon as the usage starts to drop, as opposed to much later in the year. Many of us still in the business, we, we need spreadsheets, so um, once you get the data that you need and you want to share it within the business or send it off for uh, further analysis, you can download the spreadsheet and use that um, in whatever fashion you'd like. <clears throat> While I've uh, focused on accounts, you can do this with topics. So we can take full text data, uh, whether you have a taxonomy or not, we can extract topics. You can throw in some citation data. You can um, do the same sort of thing in terms of the health of topics. How are they being used and cited? And you can break that out by portfolio, journal, volume, down to the issue level. As is the case generally with data, um, you'll get one answer and then you may have uh, five or six questions, uh, follow-on questions from one, once you start seeing insights in your data. It's built off of your underlying counter, counter data, so you have all this data. So follow-on questions, you can then dig down into the, this very granular level of detail that you can dig into to answer any follow-on questions that you may have uh, or would like to answer. So what we're basically trying to do is take data that you already have um, and make it work harder for your business. So if you have any questions, please get in touch. Thank you.